of Birth Education Live. I am April. I'm Alina. We are Dear Darby, so we're happy that you guys are here with yes. us today. Yep. And tonight we will be discussing round ligament pain. Round ligament pain. Have you ever even heard of that? Have you experienced Hi. it? Anyone? No. We want to know, first of all, right off, like who has had... Or who has like thought that they had yeah. or heard of round ligament that it's like, oh, that must be round ligament because I hear people talk about it and it's in this yeah. general area. Kind of kind of the same, right? Um, so, but the thing is, is if you're like me, I didn't, I had brown ligament pain and didn't know what it was. I never even thought to ask. So, yeah. Maybe you're like me and I, you just didn't ever because know. Because the unfortunate thing is, is when we're pregnant, there's lots of aches and pains. Yeah. There's lots of things happening and you're just like, I guess this is normal because none of it is normal, right? Like it's right. all, it's all new. It's all weird. And at yeah. least that's how I felt about my doctor's appointments too. They'd be like, okay, do you have any questions? I'm like, well, no, because I, right. I don't know. Like I have a weird pain. Is any of is this? Is it weird? Yeah, like it's hard. It's hard to know. So that's where we come in is yeah. we're here to help you navigate through all of the weird but normal things of pregnancy that we don't really know to even yeah. question. And figure them out and then hopefully help you alleviate some of what you're feeling. Yes. So round ligament pain. April's going to describe okay. what a round ligament even so is. So the really fascinating thing about the round ligament, you've got two, well, technically you have four ligaments, but the round ligament one is the more intense one. Hello. Um, um, we're right here in, we're talking like, it's like in our crotch, like right here. Okay. Back a bit. So, um, you always like when I get so visual, you want, don't you? Well, the thing is, is it's the round ligament, it connects from your groin to, to the top of your uterus. Yeah, the horns is what it's called. The horns of the uterus. The and so as you uterus. see, like, diagrams of the uterus, you'll kind of see that there's, like, it, like, like little pull things at the yeah. top of the uterus. That's where the round ligament attaches. So it's just this really nice, it's almost like a braided rope uh, down from your groin to your uterus. And what is it doing, April? The crazy thing about the round ligament, it is the only ligament in your body that has muscle fibers. Now, it's really cool because... It was designed that way. It knows that ligament was purposefully set up because it knew that it would be stretching. It knew that it would be growing with your uterus. And not only stretching, but holding up your organ plus a baby. Yeah. Plus so you have maybe two. Or more. Or more. Who or knows? More, Multiple children. Um, you have two, so the two in the front, and then there's two in the back. And then the the two in the back are not actually round ligament pains. They're not, mu they don't have the muscle fibers. So these ones stretch a lot more, and you have more of the pain within them. Yeah. And the interesting thing about these ligaments is as that uterus grows, those four ligaments actually, like, are reins to the uterus. And it's it's what's holding it up and making sure it's everything steady and working and, and like, structurally okay. So, so why you're, why are, okay. So first of all, I love that analogy of the reins because we're going to, we're going to come back to that because it's really fascinating what is happening if your body's out of alignment. But first we're going to go into, what does yeah, like? what does that feel like? So guys, have you felt just like that? sharp like a sharp pain in your groin and sometimes it might sometimes radiate it's a little higher sometimes for me I would be like oh like I'd like be standing up to go somewhere and then it like almost doubles over like yes. I can't actually like it just like shrunk down or something like something's pulling me yeah it feels like pain it, <laughs> Emily yep sure does <laughs> it feels like pain <laughs> it's really interesting and I love that description of like pulling you forward because that's kind of what's happening any sudden movement it's like the set, it's, it's, your ligament is just there and it's doing its job. It's holding up the uterus. And then you decided to stand up and stretch it. And it's like, Whoa, hold on. Horsey. We gotta, we gotta like, <laughs> hold on, we gotta fix this. And, <laughs> yeah. and you know what is actually happening in those moments where it's like, Oh gosh, hold on. I got to breathe through this Yeah, is the back ligaments are like, okay, we're letting loose a little bit. Yep. Okay. And this one's letting loose. And now we have to pull a little tighter on this side. This baby and this organ we're has to be okay. Up. So yeah. yeah, it just is giving your body a moment to 
like get itself together because like we said it's all it's almost always with a su sudden movement yeah um that you're feeling that pull because it's pull, you know it's or pulling. not sometimes you're just sitting there and it's like Whoa. then that's true <laughs> actually i feel like i got it more just like doing nothing it's true. Then that, a wham. It's a wham. Emily it's a says. wham. It is a wham. Thank you. So if you felt that before, um, in your groin, maybe even a little higher up, um, but it typically will be on your right side, left side. It'll be on either side or both sides, but it's um, you'll typically feel it on one side or the other. Um, and again, um, it's it is come and go yeah. as you move. But typically, it doesn't. That pain doesn't start until about 16 weeks into your second trimester. Usually, as the uterus grows above yep. the pelvis. Yes, and then um, sometimes it will stop in the third trimester. Sometimes it won't. Um, with my twins, I started getting it at 10 weeks. Oh it was super weird. Yeah, and then it went away for a while and then came back later. So I'm not sure if it was round ligament pain, but it felt exactly like that. So. Yeah, it's not, round leg of a pain isn't constant. If no. you have lasting pain there, um, it, it's a kidney stone. It could be, yeah. There's um, a few Speaking things. from personal experience, yeah. There, yeah. That's... Krista, we're going to talk all about that. So I'm really, really glad that you brought that up um, because it is in that s a similar area, area as like your appendix and your colon and your kidney issue yeah and bladder so sometimes there can be other things going on um but as far as round ligament pain so now you know what your round ligament is you now know that if you're feeling that kind of that sharp pain at, with sudden movements specifically it doesn't always have to be um but it's not constant um that is round ligament pain and now what are you going to do about it? Yeah. There's actually a ton of things that we can do um, with it. I want to go back to the reins because I feel like this is the first and foremost thing that will give us a, that that will give you probably more, um, it's not a band-aid, it's more of a fix, which is what April talked about with the reins. So you're, those those muscles are just trying to like, figure itself out in order to keep your uterus nice and stable. So if I'm always sitting like this, it's going to be a lot uh, longer on longer this on side, this side, shorter on this and side. And if I'm like, I don't know, or if I'm out of it, yeah, slouching. Like, oh, your anterior pelvic tilt. Sorry, can you see this? If you are, if your, your bum is doing this, can you see that? If you, Where if, it's like curved. In. Yeah, if your posture is typically like this instead of a, a tucked pelvis, that's another, it, a huge issue that you can have. Which is hard. You guys, we recognize that you have a belly hanging out there. Yeah. Like, it's really hard to tuck that pelvis. Always in. keep your like pelvis this, tucked. That, but that is actually one really, really, if you're feeling that, that those round ligament pains, start, start like pulling your, your pelvis. Yep. Tucking. underneath tucking it in un underneath yourself yeah and aligning your body a little bit more um one of the best things you can do is is chiropractic yes like, that's our number one suggestion is a chiropractor and not just any chiropractor but one that is certified in the webster's technique and you, certified is specific you need yeah yeah because you'll find you'll find doctors that chiropractors that are out there that will be like yeah i know i know the webster's technique or yeah i work on on pregnant women and and um i don't know about you but it took me a long time to actually find a chiropractor that that helped I had gone to so many that it was like, I was like, my hips, my hips are so bad. I feel like I'm, they're falling out and, um, like my joints are falling apart and they'd be like, oh, okay. And then they'd pop my back and pop my neck and, and be like, there you go. But, um, there was one, one doctor I finally went to that I was he was like, okay. Um, and he actually taught, he was the one that taught me about the reins and the, the round ligament and the fact that like, if one's tight here, this is where you're feeling it on this side. And, and, um, so finding a, a chiropractor that knows what he's doing or she knows what she's doing, um, and are, um, familiar in how to align your hips and pelvis. And it's interesting. It's, it can start even in your neck mm -hmm. and go down. And a lot of times it does. So, yeah, because if you little parts are out of whack, it honestly it will shifts shift everything. your whole body down. Yep. And then your that one side is always tight because your other side is always loose because your 
you know, your spine is out of alignment or your hips are out of alignment. And then you'll feel that pain more regularly, um, longer, earlier. So really our best, like, not a Band-Aid fix is to get adjusted with the Webster Technique, mm -hmm. a certified Webster Technique um, chiropractor. So if that is not an option, we have a lot of other ideas and for you. Emily said this. I love this. She says, the rotation of your pelvis makes a huge difference. I do pelvic clocks at my pelvic or physical therapist. Oh, yeah. And uh, that they helped with my round ligament. Uh, the pelvic clock is just rotating the pelvis forward and backward. Oh, like a cat yeah. cow. We are going to talk like, about that. Forward and backward. Yes, and which, it's a pelvic tilt. I love uh, yeah, that. We're gonna, pelvic clock. Pelvic clock. Ooh, we're I gonna, like that. We're going to go into that a little. Yes. So a couple of things to pay attention to. Um, if So chiropractor's your first go-to. Or um, Emily brought this point up. I don't go to a chiropractor, but a physical therapist. Oh, which yeah. Is, perfect. Uh, yeah, absolutely. A, a physical therapist can help, too. It's, again, all about maintaining balance and um, within your spine and hip and pelvis area. Um, so the uh, besides a chiropractor... Um, it sounds counterintuitive, but stretching, having like a regular stretching and um, exercise routine actually can really help. Um, basically, just helping your muscles stay warm and lubricated and, lubricated and, um, and those exercises. So any pelvic tilt exercises are going to be a big deal. Um, that's what Emily was talking about. It's your cat cow. So if you get on your hands and knees and you just tilt your pelvis back and forward Cow. like that. You drop, know what I'm talking drop about? Drop your belly. Drop your belly. And then curve it up. On your drop hands your and your belly. knees. Curve so um, look up if you need to look up on the internet. Um, just I look feel up. like it's intuitive. You guys just get on your yes, hands and yo knees and it's you'll yoga. feel it. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. You do it in, in yoga. So it's just, it's your cat and cow. But um, if it's even more... Important, not even more important, but it will be just as important to do your breath. So it's an inhale mm -hmm. on your cow and an exhale on your cat. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to remember. Anyway, in, so out. and then so and it's a slow breath and it's a tilt and you just want to be um, really mindful of those muscles as you do that pelvic tilt. And you guys, that is so helpful to um, help position your baby too. I've had, um, I had one birth in particular where mom was complete. She was just waiting to feel the urge to push and her midwife had her do the cat and cow and, and really like move her body to help that baby move and scroll down. So do it before labor. It's way better. Way, yes. way easier. Yeah. Do, do it before. <laughs> Get in the practice now. And so the thing that is, it seems annoying to have this pain, but what a cool reminder to take care of your pelvis in order to prep it for your labor, to position that baby and to be, you know, lubricated, exercised, all those things. So um, actually, it can be a gift as well as right. not a gift. Show it gratitude. Yes, it. Oh. it's true. The next okay. thing you can try is heat um, in a bathtub um, yeah. with a hot water bottle, a uh, rice pack, you know, that you put it in the microwave. Uh, that can help with um, just relieving the tension of those muscles uh, from your ligaments. round ligaments. Um, and then, like we said, uh, oh, another exercise. Sorry, I moved beyond the exercise. Um, any uh, pel or excuse me, core strengthening. So mm -hmm. we're taught. Have you ever done like dead bugs or bird dogs, guys? We're oh. gonna put this in. We're gonna remember get. Signed up yeah. for our email because all of this we'll have in there. We'll have some um, images. Yeah. Yeah. So bird dogs and dead bugs. Is that the one where you? Yeah, where you're on your hands and knees and you do opposite leg and, and arm. opposite arm on your hands and your knees. Okay. And a dead bug is when you're on your back and it's opposite, <laughs> opposite <laughs> arms and opposite legs. So that is interesting. Those are really and good. you might have to. Um, I know that when I was pregnant. I couldn't lift my left leg behind me. The right leg was fine, but the left leg. Yeah. So that's an out of alignment issue. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So that if you can't lift one of your legs, you are out of alignment and you need to see someone that's going to help. Somebody that can help you. <laughs> um, okay. You can massage. Just do like a self massage. 
So if you're sitting and you know that when you have an, a meet, when you, you always get that pain when you go from sitting to standing, take two seconds and before you stand, just give, just do a little massage in your groin up and into up your, you yeah, it. wherever you feel up into your pelvis and then slowly stand up and breathe, <laughs> deep breathing, deep breathing. That will, oh, that's a big that one. That will actually help a ton. So, so, um, Brevi 32, what's your name by the way? Is We'd it, is it Brevi? I don't Hi. know. Brevi. Hi. Um, right. you asked the question of what can you do to help while it hurts? Um, or do you just have to wait for it to pass? So the deep, the, the massaging, the deep breathing. And if like, honestly too, even if you kind of get a fist in there and like massage yeah. it out and like, just yep. breathe through it, honestly. Um, Brianne. Hi, Brianne. Brianne. Hello. We're so glad you're here. Yep. A fist in there will be good. And interestingly too, um, if the, the pain a lot of times will go away if you get your knees into your chest, like your knees above your hips. I didn't know that. Yes. That's interesting. That's why the, that's oh, why the, the ball, ball works. Helps. So if you can get your knees above your chest, sometimes that will take away the pain. But again, then you have to move slowly. Yeah, let it acclimate let to it, what, yeah. what you're yeah. moving, how yeah. you're moving. But that might be even your... your um, Oh, Emily says reaction. tennis ball. Seriously, tennis ball, it works. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Take it like, For self massage. Take your tennis ball, yes. put it where you need it, and just massage, and just like roll, roll it. it. Roll it. Roll it out. Ooh, I love that. Thanks. That's a really good suggestion. Emily, you always are good to be here. Thank you. Um, okay, another really great suggestion we have is one that April came up with during her last pregnancy the baby belly band. Oh, yes. I'm like, what, what did Sorry. I do? <laughs> okay, so I, it was my fifth baby, and I had just dealt with, like, the, a lot of hip pain, you guys, the round ligament, the pubic symphysis disorder, like, oh, obviously okay. I was out of alignment, my, my left leg, I couldn't move it backwards, um, so I, um, ended up getting, because I'm gifted with really wide hips, which is fantastic to actually deliver a baby. But when you have a baby sitting so low in your hips for nine months, it really is quite painful. So I always felt like I was spread like way, way farther than normal, but probably not. I'm sure you guys all feel the same way. So, <laughs> um, I, I bought, a, a from a company called baby belly band. It's one of those, I should have brought it. I forgot. Yeah. Dang. It's a good one. Cause it is a good one. And it's still even now, like uh, when I menstruate too, I'm like, you know, how sometimes your uterus feels like it's going to fall yes. out. Like even on your period, it's great. Cause, um, it's like a, it's, um, it's like a support yeah, band. Yeah, it's a support band around your hips that just kind of hug and compress and make everything. It's that counter pressure without somebody yeah. having to do the counter pressure. So it feels really nice, especially when you're grocery shopping or you're cooking or something where you're on your feet and it's like, oh, like I can't. It's just really hard to um, like keep going, if that makes sense. Because it feels like everything's falling out. Mm -hmm. and or then, apart. Or apart. <laughs> and then not to mention that, you know, shooting pain mm -hmm. in your groin. But it's a little different. There's a lot of belly support bands out there, but this one's yeah, a little different. Yeah, I really liked this one. I did a bunch of research, and you can find them. I mean, well, they sell theirs on, on Amazon as well, but but and you can find them, like, all over the place. But what I really liked about them is they had, like, a great, um, like, uh, Velcro band, but then the, it had, like, an additional one where you pulled yeah. it and then pulled it forward. So it actually, like, it pulled, pulled it in and then pulled it together it was great i don't even know it how it was it was just like this huge this very huggy so it wasn't just support like underneath support for belly it was like underneath um, support plus like the wrapping around the, around the hips around the pelvis yeah and then i bought the pregnancy bands too that had um because again yeah i always felt like my uterus was falling out so it had straps that that velcro to the back and then it came through um the crotch, the crotch and like supported my crotch like lifted and um because with my fourth baby I literally would be like I'd hold my like it's just like I needed counter pressure in my crotch because it felt like everything was gonna fall out so um really having helps. oh and it looks like it helps too oh yep pubic bone pain yeah. it helps with pubic bone pain do you think I could wear my belly band during labor Ooh, I don't see why not why not 
Try, try it. it. You might love it and you might hate it, but yeah. I, it's totally worth trying, especially in early labor. Yeah. Um, when you get into more active labor, it might not feel good anymore, but I think that would be I, super that's a cool. Great idea. Dang. We think it's worth a try. Yeah. And then, I you mean, always if, take it off. Yeah. And if you're at the hospital and they're like, no, you can't do that. Well, then and I don't see why not. Ask. Because, I mean, you do have monitors, but for the most part, the contraction monitor can be anywhere. And then the other monitor yep. is just to find your baby's heartbeat. So it can be closer. It can be down here and the other band can be over it. And actually, it, it might hold help. it on. Yeah. So huh. it might be fine. It might help. You might hate it. When you're actually contracting, it might actually be too much pressure. Yeah. Being like wrapped around. But, but early labor, I could see that that would actually be nice. Yeah. It might be nice for your early labor. Well, yeah. Especially because I always felt like my, I was falling apart. So, yeah. It, it would, yeah. Pull everything Dang. in. Dang. Um, we love that. So, That's try crazy. that out. Um, so, another thing besides, so the, the belly support, that's always awesome. Um, this one is interesting that we found um, as a solution is a tight bra. Do not wear a tight bra. Ditch the tight bra. Weird, huh? Tight bra and then your round ligament pain. And basically what a really too tight bra does is it puts pressure on your mid back and your diaphragm. So, so it's up here. So it's pulling in, um, you know, muscles right there. And then um, that pressure so you're not breathing very well and you're compensating. So yeah. you're not, you're moving differently and it's putting, and it's just this domino effect in your spine. Of like, again, the out of alignment and yep. then that, those those ligaments have to be yep. like, oh, okay, we're, we're pulling here and now we have to loosen yeah. here and we're trying Because she's to... not breathing normally and she's, you know, anyway. So, uh, t so do not wear a very tight bra. If you can get a looser bra, that would be awesome. And then the last, well, not the last, but one, another idea about, um, for your round ligament pain is to nourish your ligaments. So ligaments are made of collagen. Um, have you guys seen, uh, that like grass fed collagen? It's kind of become a big thing cause it's dairy free and it gives them at Costco. They're yeah, big. It's blue. by vital proteins is the one that I They're like. Good. Yeah. So I have dairy issues, um, but I like additional protein sometimes and collagen is a supernatural protein filled dairy free um, solution. So that is, so um, if you'll add some of that to your diet, it could be a supplementation or you can encourage your body to make its own collagen. Um, collagen is made with aminos, B, bees, um, magnesium, manganese, Wait, bees. Yeah. Oh, sorry. B vitamins. Oh, like B12, oh, B6, okay. B3. <laughs> so bees. Oh, bees. I was like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> bees sorry. do not make collagen. Or beets. I have also thought bees. Oh, but no, sorry. B vitamins. vitamins. Okay. So, um, so if your prenatal is not, I mean, if you're still getting that, you might need a little extra, um, specifically magnesium and manganese. Um, you can get that from red raspberry leaf tea, Ooh. actually. So, um, an addition of red raspberry might be very nice for your round ligament pain, um, to help okay. you make the collagen to, to feed those ligaments. Um, and vitamin C, zinc, all really good things. So essentially... If you're having round and and like like pretty constant, like every day you're experiencing mm -hmm. some sort of round ligament pain, um, try using in for in the moment to get through it. Do some massage, um, do some stretching, do some heat therapy, um, but then also um, um, to wait. Go ahead. Oh, no, deep no, breathing. Keep going. Um, and then to be uh, what's the word when you do preventative. Um, you want to nourish, eat, um, collagen mm -hmm. or like add that. And, um, I, somebody just oh. said they, uh, let's see, McKenna, I, McKenna said she loves to add collagen to her smoothies and that's awesome. Yep. It's, it's so great. It's like pretty tasteless. You can it add it to your tea. Yeah. You can add it to a smoothie. You can add it to something. It's just extra, yeah, know. extra nourishment. So, um, and it just kind of, yeah. It's, it's good. It is good. So, and then red raspberry leaf tea. That's red awesome. Red raspberry leaf tea that can prevent. And then, um, as so now we want to go into a little bit about when that pain is not round ligament pain because it can be similar. Misinterpreted. Yes, misinterpreted. So just like Krista said, it 
it is not consistent pain. It's a sharp, quick, like, oh, like, take your breath away. It's a wham. And then as you ease, as you slow down a little bit, it will um, go away. If you if that pain is not going away, that is something to talk to your care provider about. Um, anytime it's it's causing a contraction or cramping um, in your uterus, that's not round ligament pain. Um, sudden lower back pain, um, increased like pelvic pl pr uh, pl excuse me pressure. pressure. <laughs> That is something different. Um, any vaginal bleeding, fever, uh, nausea, or like burning when you pee, that could be a UTI. So, but sometimes it will feel similar in that like pain. So area. In that and area. Because that, pain is hard to differentiate. It's just like it hurts. So yeah. it's pain. So yeah, yeah. kind of hard to know. Well, and if you're getting it, you know, randomly a lot of the time, sometimes it's just like, oh, it'll go away. You know, it's going to go away. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of just like move on. Um, but if it's persistent, burning, um, crampy, contraction-y, yeah. um, back pain, fever, see, and, call your care provider. Yeah, and if it's not going, yeah, for sure not going away. And then, I mean, some of the other things could be like the pubic symphysis disorder, yeah. which we, we could do a whole life yeah, just on we that. Should. Like it's, it's, it's That's a big one. That is a big one. Um, where your your pubic, um, it's actually collagen there or cartilage, cartilage, cartilage. in between. Your, so your pubic bone, and sometimes it gets twisted. Can you believe it? Like that's what you're dealing with. And so if if it's super painful down there, so there's things that you can do, but then, um, but knowing that that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of these same things that you're doing with the with the round ligament can help, but yeah. Um, but for the most part, it's a little bit more intense and you'll ha the recuperation and recovery and, and help for that is a little bit more intense as well. Yes. So yeah, we'll do one about pubic symphysis. We have, if you have any questions about round ligament or comments right now, go ahead and throw them in the comments, um, section and we'll talk about it. Uh, basically we've got some comments saying, this is so good to know, um, drink your tea. Drink your yeah, red raspberry, red raspberry tea. And then we, Bethany said, I had ligament pain a ton with my firstborn, so I'm glad to have all this info for this time around. Yeah. yeah. So it will help out. And then McKenna says, What do women usually? Oh, when do women usually start feeling this round ligament pain? Typically about your second trimester. Um, sixteen weeks. I mean, sometimes there's there's some women that don't feel it, that don't right. that don't get it because. Yeah. They're more, I guess, more in alignment or, yeah. or... My first baby, I did not feel that way. I would say it, it increased with my subsequent children yeah, as well. Yeah, me too. So, but um, it, it usually starts around your second trimester when your uterus is getting bigger. Yeah. Um, very good question. That That is interesting. Krista said, it's hard because my kidney pain um, made me throw up, but I was doing that anyway, being pregnant. Yes. So it's hard to know, like... Is this just pregnancy yeah. symptom or is this something that's different? So that's yeah. when you tune in and um, Krista, we don't know what ended up happening with you, but that is one of our things is like trust your instincts. Were you, were you talking yourself out of something else being wrong saying it's fine, I'm throwing up anyway, or did you really feel like, oh, something, this feels this, off. Yeah, this isn't, this all is different of than this what, feels it, weird. what it has been or. And I feel like sometimes um, care providers, they don't mean to, but sometimes care providers can make you feel like, oh, that's just normal. Oh, that's just normal. That's just normal. So then and we. And sometimes it is. And sometimes, it, and, and sometimes, most of the time it and is. And sometimes it's just like, oh, okay. Okay. I'm glad to yeah. know that that's normal. But, I'm not. Yeah. But, but it's your, your instinct will say. Her. Yeah. Her. Trust your so, gut. Like if, if anything that we can yeah. get through to you is trust, trust yourself. You know, like yeah. you're the one that's feeling it. And it's hot. again, we don't have enough words in, in our English language yes. to describe exactly what we're feeling. And so it is just a level of like, is this is different and I don't know what's wrong, but something is wrong. Yes. And you know what? I love that you said that because even when we were preparing for this, we were like, we know what it feels, what round oh, ligament yeah. pain feels like, but it's really hard like, to describe Like how do you describe that? Describe and even it. now, like when I was pregnant, it was, it was like, oh yeah, I know exactly what yeah. that is. But then like, I've, I've now not been pregnant for nine months and I'm like, Oh what? yeah. Like how do I, it was like a I, sharp pain. How do I even remember <laughs> yeah. what that was like? So it's crazy how our brains compensate with 
pain. Yeah, <laughs> like it is. It's very interesting. So um, we're so glad McKenna's 24 weeks and hasn't had any yeah, pain. Yeah, that's awesome. Woo -woo. And then Bethany, yes, that was the first part of the live we talked about chiropractic care is our very first recommendation because um, you're out of alignment typically. So um, will it take it away forever and ever? Maybe not, but maybe it will. But it will absolutely help with those muscles um, not being so stretched and tight. And, mm -hmm. um, and then, yes, Danielle, you got to advocate for yourself. And then Krista tells us that the first time she went in, they thought it was the flu and then finally got it. Oh, the kidney stone. They oh. thought it was a flu, but then finally got it removed when her baby was two months old. Oh. Oh, that is a really a long, long pregnancy. Of, oh, that's a lot of pain. She's had a kidney stone. And it's not nice. We thought she was going to die. I would say kidney stones are worse than labor just because it's <laughs> constant. Like yeah. where, you, where contractions are like, okay, it's super intense and then you get a break. And then it's really intense and then you get a break. But kidney stones, like, yeah. man, it's. It's constant. It so is. Bless your Ooh, heart. Hannah has a really good question. Does this have anything to do with leg and hip pain during pregnancy, or is that something completely different? We should talk mm. about that. That typically is sciatic pain, and yeah. that's a nerve. Are you feeling it down the back of your leg? True. Because that's yeah. that's sciatic, and even it can radiate down the um, whatever. So, and then also interestingly is if you are feeling like if you get a Braxton Hicks or your uterus is going tight and you're feeling it radiating down your legs, uh, your baby's in not a great position. Yep, you need to reposition the baby. So get on your hands and knees, get your butt in the air. Yeah, do your like, pelvic tilts. Mm -hmm, get some, get some, in fact, like, in fact, we're going to, should we bring it in now? Yeah. Or should we go through Let's this? ask one more. Let's see if there's any more questions. Um, okay. Emily said, I'd like to just say to be aware of this and take care of yourself. I had a cocktail of round ligament and pubic symphysis mm, and lower back pain mm. that ended up le leading to a serious lower back problem. Disc, oh, problem. disc problem. Wow. Yeah, that's that. Take care of yourself. Seriously, mm -hmm. go see a chiropractor. And I know, okay, so here's the thing. Oh, the Webster method is super gentle. It is not oh, crack. Yeah. It, they are not cracking anything. They're not pushing and forcing no. anything. And they'll give you, and just like a physical therapist, they will give you exercises that you can do at home. So the crazy thing is, is your, so when I, when I finally found a great chiropractor it it kind of blew my mind a little bit because he um he said our our muscles are really reactive to the gentlest touch so he actually was working on a lady uh, I went to a class of his he was working on a lady she had she was face down on the on the table and she he, he had her legs and he pulled her legs together and showed like okay do you see that this left leg is shorter or longer than the right leg. And so he, he just swiped the top of her back over the right side and it, and then he did it again and they were the same, um, they were the same or the left leg and they were the same length. And then he did it again to the other side and then they were opposite because he said just in that gentle touch that, that muscle, up top is reacting and contracting and pulling that leg shorter yeah. or, or loosening it. So just know that like, if you get a really good chiropractor that knows yeah. they're, they're not going to force yeah. anything. They know how like that just a yeah. gentle, um, process and you can, can ask help. them. Not only are they certified in the Webster's technique, but a lot of them will use an activator, which is not, yeah. it's not cracking. It's just like this, like, um, like a little gun that has a bulb at the yeah. end that so they can so instead of cracking your bones they're it, just activating the muscles they're just ta like let's say your spine so you know your spinal bones are like this and it if it's like this it, the activator will just kind of help push it into alignment so it those are helps itself yes it's it amazing. helps itself so that's the thing is I know a lot of people in pregnancy are nervous to be cracked you if it's a if None of these techniques should have to have cracking yeah. involved. Yeah. Chris, kidney is way worse than labor. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. Is that? Um, mine was my inner legs. Oh, inner oh, legs. And I, I felt, felt like, like my hips were 
were being pulled apart. Oh. Um, I get that. Yeah, I think <laughs> um, you're right. I, I do wonder if you have um, a low baby, mm -hmm. uh, like a low, like maybe, maybe not necessarily a malposition baby, which is like, but maybe, maybe your baby's just super low into your pelvis and, and your pelvis is spreading a lot more, but I would say chiropractic is going to help you a lot. I did more chiropractic with this, my last baby, my fifth baby than I did with any others. And I was super afraid to be pregnant the fifth time because the fourth baby, like, worked me over. I had so much pain. I would cry at night. Like I would hold my crotch. Like it was so inner, inner, yep. Inner leg. And, um, and so I thought it's just got to get worse. Right. Cause I'm now having another child. It was so much better. My fifth, my fifth was, pregnancy was so much easier than my fourth. So just being in alignment, just being in alignment. Um, and I actually, Hannah has something really good. Um, Oh, we forgot about this. My doctor always said it was fine, but I could only get comfortable when I had a pillow between my legs and my legs were like at 90 degrees. Now, mm -hmm. since my daughter, I have restless legs. Um, mm -hmm. Interesting. So actually good sleep, good sleep positioning can help with round leg my pain too. Yeah. I forgot about that. Well, and cause I mean, you've got this big belly. So having a pillow between your legs is perfect. Is that's, right that's actually and really actually, what you need to do. And actually your legs at 90 degrees is a good position And well. even even putting a pillow but below your, yeah. or underneath your belly because no, there's nothing. a lot of weight so that belly if you're on your side cuz really essentially you can only be on your side right when when you've yeah. got a big enough belly you're only on your side so having um the weight of the belly pulled down when you're on your side actually can can um really fatigue and um, pull those muscles pull those ligaments or ligaments um, yeah to be to have some issues so yes sleeping yeah. and now you have restless leg i have restless leg that's interesting um i would suggest restless leg sometimes can be a calcium magnesium deficiency so i don't um, know if you're taking um a good a good quality calcium magnesium but i would that's the first thing i suggest with um restless leg and then there's some other things we are going to do a live on restless yes, leg this is I a get big one leg. and really really bad in pregnancy too yeah and oh, i think yeah. that is also derived of some sciatic stuff too because yeah. i would have because sciatic is a nerve like know yeah. that it that's that's not necessarily muscular issues that's no. nerve issues so um with and for me i don't know if you have felt this way I like, I would make my husband give me bum massages cause it, it was just, like the only thing that would stop my legs from going crazy. And it was like right under my butt cheek. I just like needed him to just push and hold and, and like massage that. And that's, um, that's going to be sciatic and, and it always caused, I would always add anxiety. Have you noticed that like you have other kids and they're waking up at night yeah. or if you're feeling a lot of stress feel and, rested. Yeah. And if you're like, Anytime there, I had more stress or pressure, my legs would go so much more crazy. So think about that. Yeah. Assess kind of what's going on. Okay, good. You have a low baby and the chiropractor is saving, saving your life. life. Yes, it's so true. We're so happy you're here, Jesse. This is so fun. Um, deep tissue massage, butt massages are so helpful. <laughs> yeah. Or sciatic. Yep. Yep. Those deep tissue butt massages. And we will do more um, tools and solutions for that. We'll do that in another life. There's a lot going on down there, you guys. Um, so we're going to look, we're going to show you our giveaway for this week. Yes. And we're going to show you how to use this giveaway for a the week. For a little bit. For yeah. a little bit. <gasps> It's a birth ball. Wait, we'll send you a new one. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're okay, not going to send you is, this one. This is just one. Uh, this We're going to send you a new one. Oops. In the mail. But, guys, this is the best solution. And um, who has one? Yeah. Uh, who has two? You need. I have two. I have two You as need well. as many as you can <laughs> because they're awesome. And, um, honestly, if you already have one, it's a really good. So this one's a tiny one. Um, not the greatest, not the greatest one, but we wanted to show you some of the things. Um, should we push this down like yes. this? Um, that you can do on the, so on the birth ball. So do you see how my hips are lower than my knees? So Which that's isn't good. great for, um, like for normal, for normal. Yeah. For but, normal, but you when you're be... doing some exercises for this, yeah. just know that you'll find conflicting evidence or you will. research it's out true. there that it's like, and it, it really be. is what is comfortable for you. But what it's going to help you do is these. Do you see my pelvic tilt? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see. All the... Um, as I tilt my pelvis forward, 
and back. And roll it back. For, roll it cool. forward. I'm rolling roll it, it back. forward and I'm rolling it back. So that's awesome for your pelvic, prepping your pelvis. So and, it's, and lubricating those ligaments yes. and like Tucking. just moving around. Um, and circles. The circles are so circles. good. So you're going back and forth here. And it's forcing you to pull in your core and align your spine. So um, seriously, after your 30 weeks, if you can primarily sit on a birth ball, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, it will be very helpful. And especially if you work, honestly, ask your ask your employer if you're working to get you one of the um, these chairs. Or bring one in. Oh yeah, because it has it has like a stabilizer. Yeah, a stabilizer that you can put the ball on top of it. Yeah. The nice thing is, okay, and I know you know this. I know you Come like. I know you feel this way. But um, wait, because when you're pregnant, if you're on a chair, it doesn't matter how much cushion it is. Like eventually, it's just like it hurts, right? Yeah. Your your hips are tight, and then you're, and you're doing, doing that. This. And, and you're you don't you're do actually pushing yourself out of alignment. The um the birth ball really like helps hold all yeah. the right spots, and it's like it really. It, I love it. It's and not only nuts. for pregnancy, but then you'll have a baby. We both had babies <laughs> that this is what we did for the um, first six oh, months. That's really everything's bouncing, but it's, it's true. Bouncing. I would say. I used I used it for pregnancy. My husband uses the birth ball more since we have our baby. Yeah. He rocks. He bounces our babies to sleep. It's way easier. It's yeah. actually a lot easier on the body to just bounce on yeah. the ball than it is to be standing there and for a long time and do this. So, yeah. so, so. these birth balls are awesome. So if you, that's our giveaway for this week. You know the drill. Comment on this. Um, send well, us a DM if you're watching it yeah, after. If you're watching this after, send us a DM. But and then go to the link in our bio and um, what does it say? Sign up for, for our... It's our weekly educational emails. Yeah, weekly so educational So you emails. have to be um, subscribed to our weekly educational emails. And the best thing is, you guys, is you're getting all this information. We basically condense all of the information yes. that we say here and we put it in an email plus with a link to what we are talking to this video. Yeah. And so you can watch this video at any time. At any time. You can send got, it to friends. Yeah. You can watch it next pregnancy, and whatever. it's free. It's yeah. in your email box. Like, I can't tell you how many DMs we get that it's like, yeah. I know you talked about this, but what post was it on? Where is it? So we just realized, like, okay, we've got to make this information more accessible to yeah. people because sometimes it's it's not relevant until later on or, or vice versa. Or sometimes you find somebody that you're talking to. Emily, I loved your story. Like... Yeah. You, you were talking to a friend and you knew some information. And so, yes. So we send it directly to your email and then you have it always forever. forever. And we call it our cram yes. sesh because it's specific topics that we're just giving you a whole bunch of information. Yeah. And now you're experts. Now you're experts <laughs> and you have a birth ball. So we're excited to do this giveaway. Um, and we're glad you're here get our emails, and that's it we for this love week. You. We love you. Thanks for being here, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yes. Same time. Have a good night. Good night.